We're asked to subtract negative 6x to the fourth minus 3x squared y squared plus y to the fourth from 2x to the fourth minus 8x squared y squared minus y to the fourth. And I encourage you to pause this video and give it a try. All right, let's work through it together. So we're going to subtract this green polynomial from this magenta one. So we can rewrite this as, or to actually perform it, we could write 2x to the fourth minus 8x squared y squared minus y to the fourth minus, and I'm going to write this in parentheses, give us some space, minus negative 6x to the fourth minus 3x squared y squared plus 5y to the fourth. So notice, I'm subtracting this green polynomial in two variables from this magenta polynomial in two variables, which is exactly what it says to do up here. So what's this going to be? Well, I can just rewrite the magenta part. We're going to have 2x to the fourth minus 8x squared y squared minus y to the fourth. And then I can distribute this negative sign. So if we say the negative of negative 6x to the fourth, that's going to be positive 6x to the fourth. So that's going to be positive 6x to the fourth. And then the negative of negative 3x squared y squared is going to be positive 3x squared y squared. So plus 3x squared y squared. And then last but not least, we have a negative or we're subtracting positive 5y to the fourth. So that's going to be subtracting 5y to the fourth, or negative 5y to the fourth. And now we can try to simplify. So let's first look at this, this term right over here. This is a, we have two x to the fourths. And what we could look for is another x to the fourth term. And we see it right over here. So we have two x to the fourths, and we can add that to six x to the fourths. So what's that going to be? Well, if I have two of something, and then I add another six of that something, that's going to be eight x to the fourths, two plus six. Two x to the fourths plus six x to the fourths is going to be eight x to the fourth power. And now we have this x squared y squared term. We, have, we, could, we could say we're subtracting eight of them. And over here, we're adding three of these x squared y squared terms. So we could add these coefficients. If we're taking away eight, but we're adding three, we could view this as negative eight x squared y squareds plus three x squared y squareds. Well, what's negative eight plus three? Well, that's going to be negative five, negative five x squareds y squareds. So that's that term. Let me write that a little bit neater. That's this term. Right over here, don't forget to include the sign here. This is, you're subtracting 8x squared y squared. So you can do that as negative 8x squared y squared plus 3x squared y squared. And then last but not least, you have, you're subtracting 1y to the fourth, and then you're subtracting 5 more y to the fourths. So what's that going to be? So you could use this as negative 1y to the fourth, minus five y to the fourth. Well, that's going to be negative one minus five is negative six. Negative six y to the fourths. And we're done. We have subtracted this from that.